What's up? All right, we're gonna talk about how to size your rope and get close to the perfect length for you. Okay, so I follow a bunch of professional jump ropers. So I'm gonna kind of take the information from all the different ones like I've learned from and also my own personal experience and put it into one video for you, <laughs> okay? But I do wanna say that there is not like one, this is exactly what you do, it'll get your perfect length, boom, baby, go. It's just not like that, okay? Because there's different factors that come into play, which I'm about to discuss. At the end, I will give you a general rule of thumb of where you can start. Um, but first I wanna talk about these different factors that may affect your length, okay? Because it's not just based on your height. Okay, so the first one, your height, for obvious reasons, right? We're all different heights. You want the rope to pass over your head and you want it to hit right in front of your feet. You don't want it to hit far in front of your feet because there's gonna be a lot of drag. You don't want a lot of your rope touching the ground with each pass. It slows down your rope and it just throws you off. The second thing is form. All right, but as a beginner, you may not have your form great at first. When you buy a new rope, you need to size it and then you work on practicing. So it's kind of like a tough spot because you need to size your rope in order to practice, but form affects the size of your rope. <laughs> so in general, you wanna start out with it longer and then as your form progresses and you get your form better, you can shorten it and shorten it. You don't wanna do it too short too soon because then you're gonna be tripping on your feet and it's gonna be very frustrating, okay? So your general form is gonna be elbows back, wrists by your hips, and then one flick down when you're jumping. So at first, a lot of people will jump out here, we'll move our elbows, you know, our wrists won't be by our hips, that affects the length of your rope because the further your hands are out, the shorter the rope's gonna get. You bring it in, it's gonna make it longer. So your form will definitely affect the size of your rope. So start with it longer and then we'll work our way down to shortening it as we get better with our form. Okay, and then the third factor that affects the length of your rope is your goal. So if you're just doing like basic jumps, you, you can have a shorter rope, but once you start doing crosses and tricks, you may want a little bit longer of a rope. So whatever your goal is will also affect the length of your rope of where you want it. So for me, I have a short handle beaded and a long handle beaded. And I typically keep my long handle beaded a little bit longer than my short handle beaded because I use that rope first practicing my tricks because my form isn't great, right? When you learn a new trick, you're like figuring it out, right? So my form isn't great, so I have a little bit longer of a rope while I'm practicing. And then once I get that moved down better, I can progress to my short handle and a little bit shorter rope so that now I have my form good, so the length of my rope can be shortened, you know, so. There's different factors that will affect where you want the length of your rope to be. Height, form, and goals, okay? All right, now with all that said, I did tell you that I will give you a general rule of thumb, so I'm gonna do that for you here. But first, if you're getting anything from this video, growing in any way, do you mind hitting the like button for me and subscribing? I'm gonna do more videos like this so you can keep coming back for more, okay? So now I'm gonna give you a general rule of thumb and then I'm gonna actually show you how to physically adjust your length on your rope. Okay, so the general rule of thumb is to take your height, then plus three feet. So mine, five, seven plus three feet would be eight, seven, not counting the handles. Okay. So eight, seven should be the length of my rope as a beginner. And then as I get my form better, as I figure out what my goals want to be, you know, then I can shorten it and shorten it. Okay. I just use a tape measure pro tip, but I'm not a pro. Um, <laughs> don't completely cut off the link. Try it out first. You don't want to just start snipping away and then you're like, crap, this is too short. You can't go back. <laughs> you can't sew it back on. Okay. Maybe practice a few days with it like that. Make sure it's good. 
then you can cut it. You'll also hear a lot of people say to step on your rope with both your feet, pull it up, handles up, and it should land anywhere between like your armpit, chest area, to the bottom of your rib cage. So it's, a, it's kind of a big span. Beginners should be higher. As you get better and better, you can shorten your rope and then it can be further down, you know, maybe ending by your ribs. But that's also a way to measure it, kind of just a general thing. But I would more so trust the your height plus three feet method. Okay, so now I'm going to physically show you how to do it. I have two different ropes here. One's gonna be my beaded and one's gonna be the PVC rubber. So sometimes the rubber ones do not come where you can adjust it. Like see this one has like a little thing that you can loosen and then move to adjust it. But a lot of them come with like a closed end. So there's no adjusting. So all you can really do is tie it in knots and that will shorten it, which is fine. Um, that's a way to do it if you don't get one that is adjustable. I like the adjustable ones, but if you don't have it, again, you can just tie it in knots, and then if this is still too long, you know, grab the other end, give this end a knot too. If that's still too long, give it another knot. The more knots you have in it, the shorter it's getting, right? Don't knot it on top of the knot, you know, like, Keep them separated like this. But if it does come where you can adjust it manually, this one has this little thing like I talked about. And all you do, oh man, I just cut my nails. All right, well, we're gonna figure this out. Okay, I got it, no worries, no worries. Okay, see here how it comes apart? So then you just can take this scooch it, scooch it down if you need to make it shorter. And then you'll push this piece up back into it to where it clamps like that, right? And now this goes inside your handle and it made my sh rope shorter. So now I have this extra piece, that's fine. Practice with it like this. Don't cut this off yet, okay? Because we may need that extra space. So just practice it with it sticking out. It's no big deal, it's not gonna affect you. If, say you shorten it to here, and now you're having to practice with this huge thing, you can just knot it. So that's how you resize your rubber ones, if it, your PVC, if it comes with a thingy like this. So now I'm gonna show y'all my beaded one because it's a different adjustment. So this one comes with this little washer thing. It's just a little washer. So all you do here is unknot this. This is just a string. Unknot it. Most of these ropes come like 10, 10 feet long. So it's like really long. And But they do that with good purpose because you, can, um, you don't want to send a too short of a rope, right? And then it just doesn't work for everybody. Send a long one and people can adjust it. So it's perfect. Okay. So I switch ends because this one, the knot wasn't as tight. <laughs> okay, so I untied my string, right? So now I can pull my handle off. And that washer is gonna come. There it is. Boom, that's the washer, okay? So then you just start taking beads off to shorten it if you want it to be shorter. So you can just take off as many beads as you need to. Save your beads because you can use these as replacement beads if you're practicing on concrete and it and it's like wearing down your beads. You can use these extras to replace them with the ones that get beat up, okay? Save your beads. Um, so anyway, just take off as many beads as you need to to shorten it and shorten it and shorten it. I remember when I sized mine, I took off a ton of beads. Like I have all these extra beads. Okay, so then all you do is put your string back through your handle then you put your string back through the washer and then you just tie the knot at the end and then you can burn the end, do this safely and carefully, but um, it will kind of melt the end so that it's not super frayed out. But anyway, so then the washer goes back inside the handle like that, the rope goes in the handle and boom. Okay, so that kind of shows you how to size your beaded ropes and your PVC depending on how they come.
So my long handle beaded rope is pretty similar, except this one came. So see, I haven't even cut that off. I just knotted it like that and it goes down into the handle and I don't even see it. So just in case I wanna re-lengthen it because this is my one where I keep it a little bit longer. So the only difference with my long handle one is that this rope came with like, instead of the washer, it came with another beaded one, but it's like a two inch one that you use for double dutch. That's what they used instead of the washer. Same thing, you just put your rope through that and it'll go down there. Having the washer, having that bead thing in there, it just basically prevents your rope from coming out, right? Because the knot is there, but sometimes you would have to do like the knot, the knot, the knot, the knot, the knot to make it a big knot to where it doesn't come through the other end. Instead, they just put a little washer there or a bead or something or that other piece that's on the PVC one to just keep it from coming through. So that's how you actually physically resize your ropes. Just remember all those factors that come into play, your height, your form, and your goal. And then you can just start with the general rule of thumb, which is your height plus three feet. That'll get you going at a good spot. I'm gonna link my video that I did on how to do the form for a basic bounce. So hopefully that'll help you out and get you going there. All right, y'all. Let me know below if you have any questions. See y'all in the next one. Love you guys.